Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2024. This is the solution video to paper one, question one. So question one is an algebra question. In part A, we have a third equation and you're asked to solve the following equation for n. So with a third equation, we're gonna start by squaring both sides. So that'd be n minus three squared is equal to the square root of three n plus one squared. So squaring out this side, you get n squared minus 6n plus 9. And the opposite side, then the square and the square root cancel out, so you just get 3n plus 1. Take everything to one side, then to make a quadratic equation, you'll get n squared minus 9n plus 8 equal to 0. And then factorizing that out, the factors of that quadratic are n minus 8 by n minus 1, which gives us two solutions, n equal to 8 and n equal to 1. Because it's a third equation, you need to sub the two of them back into the original equation to see which one doesn't work. And it works out that n equal to 1 does not work, and the answer is n equal to 8. And that's worth 10 marks. You get 9 out of 10 if you don't do that last step, if you don't sub in and figure out that n equal to 1 doesn't work, you only get 9 out of 10. Part 2, or part B, write the following expression as a single fraction in terms of t. So we've got to get a common denominator and write it as a single fraction. So the common denominator will simply be 2t plus 1 times 12t. So it's going to be 2t plus 1 times 12t. And then for the numerator, it'll be 4 multiplied by 12t minus 7 multiplied by 2t plus 1. And to simplify these fractions in the leaving cert, you simplify um, the top but you do not do anything to the bottom. So your answer is gonna be 34t minus seven over two t plus one times 12t. And again, that is worth 10 marks. Over to part C then, part C is simultaneous equations in three variables. So we have x plus 2y is equal to 143, y plus 3w is equal to minus 74, and 4x plus 5w is equal to 4. So if we start with labeling them 1, 2, and 3, and I'm going to take equation 1, and I'm going to subtract 2 times uh, equation 2. So this is equation 1 and equation 2, which is going to be multiplied by minus 2. So that's x plus 2. 2y. I'm just going to leave a little space here for the w equals 1, 4, 3. And then multiplying it, equation 2 by minus 2, you'll get minus 2y. So they'll cancel out. You'll get minus 6w. And that's equal to plus 148. So now you can see that the 2y and the minus 2y cancel out. I'll be left with x minus 6w is equal to 291. From here then, I can take equation three and this new equation four to eliminate uh, the x's. If I do equation three and then do minus four times equation four. So equation three is four x plus five w is equal to four. And equation four multiplied by minus four is minus 4x plus 24w equals minus 1164. So we can see that the x's cancel, 4x minus 4x is zero. I have 5w plus 24w, which is 29w, is equal to minus 1164 plus four, is minus 1160 and 29 divides into that to give w equals minus 40. So we have our first 
unknown there, w is equal to 40. I can then find uh, y or x, actually I could sub in a w into this equation here, or I could sub in w into this equation here to find x and y. So let's sub into uh, x minus 6 times minus 40 is equal to 291. So if you sub into this one here, you can sub into any of them. And that works out to give you x is equal to 51. So now we have x. And we can sub in um, x equal to 51 into any of the other ones to get the y value. So 51 plus 2y is equal to 143. So that means y works out to be 46. And again, you can sub into any equation you like. Um, you'll still get all the marks for it. They'll all work out to give you the same. And it's 10 marks for that. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.